Some people are really good at their jobs, but others are still working their way up there. Valet parking is oftentimes very convenient in places where it's hard to find parking, but this man should have thought twice before trusting his $2 million Bugatti with a stranger. A boat transportation company made a massive mistake of not measuring the clearing height of the houseboat, causing it to hit a power line, which fried all the electronic system of the boat, making it unusable. When a truck driver made a sharp turn after forgetting to secure the side of truck, 2,000 glass bottles went flying and caused broken glass to be everywhere in the street. And well, it actually ended up being a wholesome moment, with a dozen people nearby helping clean the spill. When a salesman at a dealership was super excited after selling a Nissan Altima well over MSRP, he asked the customer to kick a sort of gong to celebrate. Tolls are expensive, but this truck driver passing behind another truck to avoid paying the toll, which ended up costing him more money. This man was trying to move a mobile home using his personal use truck, which turned out to be a bad idea. At least he got lucky. After a company went an extra step to install a batch system to secure their doors, they miss a major design flaw. A man took the not my job saying to the next level when he didn't close the door before installing the toilet. A delivery man disregarded the fragile sign when he decided to toss a $700 GPU. The exterior of planes are done by lightweight materials that can withstand rigors of flight and extreme weather, but they are known to dent relatively easy since they're not made to withstand other hits. I'm not really sure how this wall will hold up in the long run. Okay, maybe this was a prank from the co-worker's part, but when one of the workers passed the wrong hammer it costed them a tile. After a horrible framing job, there was no other option but to knock it down. This thief absolutely failed at his task when he tried to steal meat from a kebab restaurant when he realized that the meat was hot. Thankfully, the truck was empty and no one was injured, but when a man was doing his job in front of his boss, who also happened to own the truck, he got a little nervous and dropped the tree logs in the wrong position, causing the $200,000 truck to flip. When a group of emergency workers tried to demonstrate with a mannequin the possible use of a horse carrying a stretcher, they concluded that maybe a highly volatile animal shouldn't be doing that job. Okay, I'm not sure if this robot failed at his job or was just really successful. His measurements were definitely right, but the direction was off. After an amazing food performance in the middle of the street, which could also be a safety hazard, the waiter made a crucial mistake at the end. In probably one of the worst days at work someone could possibly have, a man that was operating a mega box ship weighing hundreds of thousands of tons wasn't paying that much attention and completely pulverized a gantry crane, costing millions of dollars. Luckily, no one was injured or near the area of damage.
When two workers were in charge to take a rare Aston Martin worth upwards of $300,000, one of them had to watch his co-worker learn that the accelerator on those cars are a bit more sensitive. When a man tried placing around 20 dozen eggs in a shell, he realized that putting them all at once wasn't the best idea. When a man was wondering what happened to his mailbox, he checked his security camera to find out a UPS driver wasn't having a good day at work. There are several reasons why someone wouldn't want their car to be towed, besides inconvenience, one of them being the possible damages that the car will take from the process. But a tow truck driver didn't expect his tow truck to be the one being towed when a lady refused them taking their car. When a sprint worker was trying to demonstrate to one of the clients that the screen protector was hammer-proof using her personal phone, things didn't go according to plan. ...to my personal phone, which is the S3, and we're gonna try it because this is uh, hammer-proof apparently, so it's shattered. <laughs> In Wilmington, North Carolina, the city wasn't happy with a truck driver, who didn't realize he had his crane up while blasting music and was taking down overhead wires and traffic lights without realizing it. When a man started walking through an area that had just been poured concrete in, you can see the workers looking at him in a very annoyed way, since they'll have to redo the places he stepped on. When a FedEx delivery driver didn't want to walk across the fence to deliver the neighbor's computer, she decided to just throw it up the fence. And well, the PC obviously did not survive, and sadly for the worker, she had her delivery recorded. With bollards being able to sustain an impact of about 10,000 pounds at 5 miles per hour, security has to make sure they're all the way down before letting cars pass. A bad day for a guard happened, when he made the mistake of not making sure the bollard was all the way down. At an enduro race, a reporter was forced to hand the microphone to another interviewer after she got completely covered in dirt, after one of the bikers drove off a bit too quick. During a Cavaliers vs. Indiana Pacers, LeBron James kinda quieted on his teammates. With the average weight of a tractor being somewhere between 15,000 pounds, there are a few things that will resist being stepped by one. When a man tried to use a cylinder block to cross the tractor through a canal, he quickly learned it wasn't the best idea. After a referee gave a controversial yellow flag, followed by more than justified red card, a bunch of players and even the manager of the team started chasing him, turning the pitch into complete chaos. And well, he ended up resigning right after everything happened. I truly have no idea how they convinced a dealership to let them do this. But for a skit, a man ran a $220,000 Porsche Taycan Turbo through the dealership window. After a contractor completely butchered the sidewalk by adding different color patterns, another worker had to fix the problem himself, and it's oddly satisfying to see the grabbing tool at use. Sometimes a DIY is perhaps not the best idea, 